Hey guys, I'm back again. Uh, originally, I had another video with the same title, but I took it down because uh, YouTube said that there was uh, issues with me using a, a movie clip. So it would have been good to have that clip in there, and maybe some of you have seen it before I uploaded it. But you got kind of a gist. And basically, the title of this video is going to be called "There Are Signs Everywhere." And it's basically speaking about when we're walking in faith for something, um, we tend to see signs and confirmations if we ask God. And those confirmations and signs, I take it as uh, a sign that, you know, God's hand is in it and he's working everything out. So allow me to get to the video. Um, when you walk in faith, you need a confirmation and an sign. And a good example of that is Judges 6, 36 to 40, when uh, God uh, called Gideon to uh, relieve Israel from her enemies. And he wanted to be sure that he wasn't seeing things, most likely. And so uh, he asked God, if you once you read in Scripture, I'm not going to get into it, but he asked uh, for, you know, a sign. And, you know, um, basically uh, it was to do with a fleece. You know, one morning uh, God caused the fleece to be full of water and the, the, the floor to be dry. And the next morning, uh, totally the opposite. And so Gideon took that as uh, God going to use him to relieve Israel which God did. So, you can look for signs all around you, you know, as confirmation. I mean, you could be driving one day, you could see a sign that totally pertains to your situation. It could be in conversation with people. It could be in prayer. You mean, you could be praying with people and maybe they say something that is on the lines of what either God told you or maybe what you read in scripture. And you know that you know that whatever you're reading or praying about is exactly what God is going to do. So, um, I recall um, when I was walking in faith for an apartment, nothing happened yet. You know, I was still walking in faith. God promised that he was going to provide everything for the new apartment. And so, a brother told me, that he had a dream about me coming out of my new place into my car. So I took that as okay. It's confirmation that what God is planning to do. And eventually, as you already know, or maybe you don't know, you know, God paid for everything. It was like over a thousand dollars. And well, not really. It wasn't, it didn't work out that way. But the apartment was over $1,000, but he worked it out to where the landlady said that she would take whatever we had, we could have the keys and move in, and God worked it entirely out. And if you want to read further about it, it's in my book, Who is Your Provider? And it's listed uh, under, close to the end, and it's called Journal and Faith Regarding an Apartment I Was Walking in Faith For. So... You can read all my journal entries leading up to God's provision and how he worked everything out. Wait a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see. I basically, I cling on to the confirmation by faith as evidence of God's hand working it out. Um, I've done it in the past, the things that I've seen, uh, conversations with people, prayers, you know, so like Mary, you know, when um, she heard about Jesus from Anna and Simeon, it said that she treasured everything in her heart. And that's what I personally do. You know, I, I, I write down confirmations, things that I hear. You know, like I said, prayer, conversations with people, I'll write it down. 
uh, what the pastor preach, you know, I would write that down. And so I would cling to all that through that time of faith, through that pressure, through the time of when the enemy tries to bring doubt to you. So I, the, I use them for the purpose of fighting fear. Because you have to, when you're walking in faith, you have to have a, an opposing circumstance that will come against your faith. Such as the area of the apartment. The fear I was facing was, uh, you know, what if I'm on the street? Or what if I look foolish to people, you know, walking in faith? All these things was coming against me on one side. But then I was reading about what Jesus did uh, what do, God did in, in the Bible and all the areas that he provided and that came against that and all the other areas of faith where God has come through it was coming against that fear and it was taking it over so that's how I would fight um, that fear is with faith um, It could be signs literally or evidence in nature to guide you into confirming what God's will is. Um, like, I, I would, I'd ask God for, like, his provision for something. And, excuse me. So, I was, I was out walking one morning, and... As I was walking, I happened to look down and I saw a $20 bill on the ground. So I was like, man, thank you, God. Because, you know, I, I needed it. So, you know, God worked that out. Um, my mother knits and she crochets. So she had worked with yarn. So um, when we moved into the new place... Um, there was a piece of yarn that fell and the way that it fell, it was in the form of a fish. So, you know, I take that as God's provision. You know, it was confirmation for that. Um, let's see what else I have. Um, like wh when I went out to a Chinese food restaurant around that time, there was something I was walking in faith for and the, the fortune cookie message I received was sort of like God's way of confirming of what he was going to do. So, you know, I, I took little things like that to, an, and it, it encourages me to keep pursuing on in faith. Um, you know, when situations come up that are hard, it is another way of God showing you that he is there. And, you know, these circumstances are pressures and hardships that you're facing. And you already heard me speak about pressures. When you're walking in faith for something, you have all these negatives that are weighing against you. And, of course, like I said, you, you need that in order to continue walking in faith. You have to have that pressure. And once you come to know God as your source and him coming through for you, you will no longer have pressure because you know without a doubt that he's going to take care of the circumstance. So when you're walking in faith, if you have never walked in faith, you know, um, ask God how you can, you know, maybe he, he would call you to quit your job and to, totally rely on him. And that's something that would be hard for a lot of people to do. But, you know, like I said, we eventually have to get into that place where we're trusting God. Because, you know, it's going to get to the point to where we're going to lose our jobs anyways once the Antichrist comes. Because we can't buy or sell anything. So it's best to get in that place now of trusting God. So when that time comes, you'll know without a doubt that he's going to come through for you. Um, it says... In the Old Testament, I think it's in the Prophets, where he would cause um, water in the desert or something like that. So, I believe by faith he's going to do that again. So, 
If you've never walked in faith, ask God how you can walk in faith. You know, maybe he wants you to pay all your bills, give to the needy, until you have nothing left, and then rely on him. Ask him for something that you need, and watch him come through. You know, that's what we need. We need to be in that place of, you know, trusting him. So, you know, like I said, just ask God how you can walk in faith. So I'll end the video here. Thank you for watching. And, you know, look for the signs if you're walking in faith, looking for confirmations. Thanks for watching.